In 2007, Robert Hastings located and interviewed the two retired Air Force air traffic controllers who had been on duty at the Bentwaters Tower that week. Ike Barker and Jim Carey divulged for the first time they had actually tracked a bona fide UFO on radar the night that Colonel Halt was in the woods. I was just sitting there and I happened to see a, uh, a dot come on the scope and it just went like one dot at the beginning, then another dot, another dot, and it was gone. So the scope is 120 miles across. It was just phenomenal to me to see it go that fast. All of a sudden, here it come back across again. It went one, two, and then it made an immediate right-hand turn and came right towards the base. You know, I just said, that can't be one of ours. No jet at that speed can make an immediate right-hand turn. Just absolutely phenomenal. It's not like any radar target I've ever seen. When the sweep would hit the target, you would have the entire back of it would be like a solid line traveling at an extremely high rate of speed. It passed over the control tower, and then it stopped. I've never seen anything in my life like the maneuverability that happened with this object. It was an orangish color, sort of popped into my mind at the time that somebody's flying a basketball out here. There were like lights around the center of it, but it wasn't like running lights or navigational lights. It was more like portholes, and then you were seeing the light from the inside coming out. It wasn't, you know, flashing lights or anything, but it hovered momentarily, reversed its course, and went back out at a high rate of speed. Moreover, given the dramatic incident at the weapons storage area, when one of those UFOs reportedly directed laser-like beams down into the facility, it becomes clear that this case had a nuclear weapons connection.